I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is November 25th, 2018, and in this video, I'll be showing you some Ethernet clips that I've been working on. In the past, I have wired up my house with Cat5e Ethernet before, and when I did that, especially when I get into crawl space, I'm trying to get it all routed up, routed up nicely. Uh, what I've done in the past is I've used a lot of zip ties, and I've also used, I got a picture here, I guess it's a gardener bender? Um, just these little blue kind of clips that you can nail onto the wall and clip onto something. Um, the problem is they're not really simple to, well, you only get one in at a time or you get some little weird conglomeration in. And what happens when you change things? It's a little ugly. If you're only running one, it's not a big deal. But I was going to, I had a plan to rewire this house which I'd done. And I have sections where I've got, you know, five or six clustered together. And I wanted something simpler. So what I wanted, what I, my goal was to have something that I could use a deck screw to screw it into, uh, into a, a two by four somewhere like in my crawl space or in a, in a wall, not in a room, you know, like a, I've got a utility room. It's a way that I could uh, put these cables together, you know, two, three, six in a, in a cluster, wrap them up, and then the idea is I could put them in here and then pull them out quickly. So you can see my design here, it's got a little open top. And so you can actually, uh, I did a lot of testing, but the idea is you can put them in and you can pull them out really easily because sometimes you have to go back and add more cable two years in the row. You thought you wanted, four, now you need six. Uh, so I want it to be kind of simple. Uh, but with that, let me kind of go show you how they work real quickly. Okay, so here's what I came up with. So here it is. I've got all the different sizes here. And so the idea was, if I got a bundle, this is a bundle I think of 12, is I can simply put them in here. I try to design it so also I can, they're not going to come out too easily. So I can say, I can easily pull this out, but after I get that in, it actually holds pretty good. So that was, my, that was my idea behind all of them. Some are a little tighter than others, but the idea is once I get it in there, I don't need tools. So I can get it in there and I can slap them in and out real quickly. And, and they still hold pretty good. So that's the idea behind that. Okay, so I designed this in Fusion 360. So I'll go over a little bit of details, not, well, just a little bit, and kind of emphasize the idea of, uh, hopefully I'm using this word correctly, parametric modeling. And if you're unaware of that, I'm not much of a 3D designer at all. I'm still slowly getting into it. There's a lot of guys on YouTube. Uh, Lars Christensen is one of my watch that goes over, go, it can go over parametric programming. But what I did is I, I had this idea for this. I wasn't sure what, how it was going to work very well. And so the nice thing with 3D printing is I can come up with an idea and try it out and tweak and tweak and tweak it. And so done right in Fusion 360, which the best thing to do is try to do parametric modeling where things are related to each other so that you can easily switch them around. So here I'll just kind of go over one of my drawings here. Let's see if I can uh, go over the sketch. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, edit. So here I'll go edit what I have to sketch to show, in this case, what I've got. And so these, I've kind of got them... Yeah, fairly perfected what I've done. I, li I like where they are. But see, all these are designed, uh, it's a little dent in here. Uh, but the idea is I can come in here and quickly change things. So I kept tweaking things bit by bit until I got what I wanted. So like here, for example, here is this angle right here, uh, 50 degrees. If it turns out that that didn't work, I can come back in here and do 48 degrees and it all adjusts. That's probably one to show. Let's see. Uh, there you go. Or this length there. So if 16 was too long, come back here and do 10, and they adjust because that mirrors the other side, and so it's easy to do things like that with parametric programming, parametric programming, parametric modeling. And so I got that design down. And so right now, all the adjustments seem to work pretty well. Uh, they're sized in such a way that I can use a wood screw. Let me change the size here, so you can see. Uh, and I might have analysis. I think I have an analysis. Nope. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I don't have a cutaway. I might have had a cutaway, but I don't. Uh, also, you can see I got a little edge down there. Now, the only thing I've seen on these that I have an issue with right now is. It might be a little too thin in some cases. It's, it's okay for what I'm doing, but if you wanted to, you know, do this in production or something, I have had times where I've screwed it in too tight and I've snapped it because this does recess a little bit. Uh, also, what I've done on the back side, let me see if I can 
show this. Flip, flip. There we go. Is I have put my little symbol in here, but I've also put the number. So this will hold eight Cat5 cables. Another one that says six, holds says four, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, like that. In fact, let me see if I can. Can I do that? Oh, there we go. That one. So you can say this holds three to four. So they're nicely marked like that. Um, but anyway, I just kind of want to emphasize that if you're doing a lot of design, go watch some guys who talk about parametric modeling. So you can do that so you can go back and more easily tweak your design. So that's what I have going. Um, so the next thing I want to do, let me go show, where are you? Oh, there we go. So I have this up on Thingiverse. It happens to be thing 3238716. And I put several files in there. So each file should represent, there you go. One, two, three, four, six, eight, and 12. So I'm going to go take one of those right now, um, put it through, um, da, da, da. can't even name right now. It's been so long. I've been busy. Uh, put it through uh, Prusa's Prusa Control, and then make a model and go print a couple so I can show how long it takes. OK, so here I'm in Prusa Control, and I'm going to make a couple here. So I'll drag, drag and drop the uh, one that can hold six in here. I'll copy and paste it. And I'll just, I'm going to print out two, mostly, uh, I want to rotate one 180 degrees so you can kind of see the back being created as I print it out too. And I will rotate in the Z axis 180 degrees. And we'll just stick those kind of right there. And there we go. Now these aren't all that fancy, so there is no reason to do any detail on them. So I'm going point two. Um, and if you have a controller, you, you could probably go a lot higher. You could probably do a point three or point four or something higher, but in Prusa Control, I can only go to point two. That's fine for me. I'll do a, I'll leave it standard 20% infill and no brim and no support and generate. Okay, now I'll do a quick check. A little layers there, so looks pretty good to me. I had to be careful on this when I designed because some of this stuff I was getting kind of thin and so at some points I did have to go back and redesign but just because it just wouldn't come out in the um, in the slicer here. So I'll go save the G code and I'll go get this made. Okay now for the number. So this took uh, printing two of them out one hour and 40 minutes to print out. It took 1.5 cents worth of electricity and it weighs 0.014 kilograms. And based on $20 for a kilogram roll, that comes up to 28 cents to print out two. So for this one, uh, total price uh, was 30 cents to print out two. So about 15 cents a piece. So pretty cheap, pretty effective. Um, I'm really liking these. I'm using them all over my house right now. Um, and I like them. So they're up there. They're available to anybody. They're on Thingiverse. And they have to be Thing 3238716. So go check it out if you have some cables to print, I guess, cables to print. If you got some cabling around, you need something to kind of put it in and hold it really well. There you go. So uh, thanks for watching. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.